hiding. A hundred the weirder I'll get. <laughs> if you guys don't know, it's Gaia, also known as Cyber Mother Nature, also known as the Hashtag Switch Up Queen. And I'm back with another video and today, period, honey, period. I'm about to show y'all how to do two Puffs, not one puff, not three puffs, two puffs, okay? So, you guys are about to see my real hair. This is a moment, are you ready? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I know, I know, I look crazy. I actually did a wash and go, and I've just been having this bonnet on my head for the last two days. I mean, They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Don't you ever get it twisted. I'm still a baddie, never a saddie. And that's on period. Okay? And if you got a problem, catch me outside. How about that? But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications so you can become a part of the Diaverse. Bruh. Let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. And I'm about to show you guys how I do two puffs. Woo! Alright, so to do this look, the first thing you're going to need is something to part your hair with. I like to use my edge brush because you're also going to need an edge brush as well because you're going to do your edges. And it has this little pointiness, so it's super awesome. Then you're going to use a big brush. This brush looks sketchy. I don't want to show you guys, but a big brush. And a smaller brush. This one's harder than the other one. Like. Bruh. <laughs> Next, you're gonna need some got to be glue gel. Um, I use this for my wigs, but I also use it on my hair, I know. Next, I'm gonna be using my Let's Jam Dark and Lovely Extra Hold. It doesn't have that much hold to it, but it is what it is. I'm also going to be using some Eco Styling Gel, as you can see. Now, also you're going to need some ponytail holders. Now, this is my holy grail, and I'm about to put y'all on. If I can find a link for these, I get, I get these from Walmart, and they're kind of like telephone holders, but they are freaking phenomenal. They never get stuck in my hair. They're super easy to take out of your hair because they're not made out of um there there's it's not fabric it's just plastic and that plastic is perfect y'all it's perfect for this style okay and you need two of these all right so the last thing i almost forgot it that i'm gonna need is um foaming mousse i'm using a lot of body uh wrap me foaming mousse and um, yeah, so let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair down the middle. Try to be careful. Oh. I'm debating on if I want to do like a slight slant. I think I'm going to do a slant. Yeah, I'm going to do a slant. So, as you can see, I'm just parting the front of my hair. 
Um, I don't really care how the back looks because I'm not really going anywhere. Um, if I was going somewhere, I would probably get someone to part the back of my hair. Um, the front is the only thing that really matters. Um, I'm doing this on dry hair, but it's still going to work the same. Alright, so the front is really straight. So since the front is straight, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wing the back. So like I said, probably not straight. I'm gonna take my little scrunchie and I'm gonna take one side and I'm just gonna put it to the side. All right, just so I can get rid of it. And the first thing I like to start with is the mousse and the mousse is just to get my hair wet and um, more manageable. So since my hair was dry, I used the mousse to kind of wet it. Um, but without loosening up the little finger coils. Before I did this look, I actually had in finger coils, um, which is how I typically do my wash and goes, but I'll do another video on that. But the mousse is just gonna help it get a little bit wet without losing the curl. All right, now that my hair is kinda wet, I'm gonna go in with my Eco Styler Gel. Now, a lot of naturals may be like, Bruh. Eco Styler Gel? You're putting Eco Styler Gel in your hair? Like, don't you know it's not gonna work? You know it's not gonna hold? Baby, baby, I put 10 million different products in my hair. This ain't the only product. So I'm gonna grab a big old chunk of Eco Styler Gel, baby. And I'm gonna put that on the edges. Well, I'm gonna just put it all around my hair just to kind of form the ponytail. I like to start with Eco Styler Gel uh, just because Eco Styler Gel is also really wet. And if I'm not wetting my hair, I need something to kind of wet it and get it to kind of move because we all know natural hair don't really, it don't really like to move. It just likes to stay where it is and do, and do what it wants to do. So I just use the Eco Styler Gel because it really does lay my hair down. So now I'm gonna take my, um, my smaller brush and I'm gonna really brush it down in the back. Really just like lay my hair. Lay hair down. I have the big brush now. And I'm gonna brush it. Y'all, my hair was dry. We started on dry hair. Like, I'm just trying to remind y'all, I literally started on dry hair. And I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna put it in a ponytail using my little things right boom so i'm gonna do the exact same thing that i did to this side on this side then i'm gonna come back because we are not done honey we are not <laughs> done okay back and i did the other side now just to give you guys some references i am like a 4c 4b girl so I know the hardships that we go through with getting our hair to lay down and I want to let you guys know that that is why I'm here. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to guide you, okay, honey? Because it is okay to be a 4B, 4C girl. There are products that will work for you, but just know you can't use one. You gotta use like 12. So, the next thing that I do now that I have the kind of laid down and separated, now that's when I get my jam. And my jam has a little bit of a, a, um, a hold to it. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put it around the perimeter of my hair. Okay? What I do, I swear I do this all the time. And it really does hold a lot better when I use a mixture of products uh, instead of just trying to rely on one product because one product is not gonna work in our hair. It just will not. 
and you shouldn't trip out if your hair isn't that slicked because at the end of the day you are a curly girl and your hair is never gonna be super duper slick unless you flat iron it now I know some people don't like using the got to be glued on their hair but I will honestly say that it's one of the only things that really holds my hair down and it doesn't break out my hair like some people claim it does so if you are kind of skeptical of got to be glued you can actually stop here and just use the jam but I do want my hair to be on the more slick down sides so I'm gonna use a little bit of God to be glued. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put it back into a ponytail. Kind of like a loose one though. Kind of like loose, like right here. And then I'm gonna take the God to be glued. And this is basically the part where I also do my edges as well, but I basically take and I put this all around the perimeter. And like I said, this is also where I do my edges. And we're just gonna do a little swoopity whoop, poopity scoopity doop. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. Next, I'm gonna take it out that ponytail. All right, take it out that ponytail and I'm gonna make a tighter ponytail. This one is going to be the permanent ponytail. So it has to be real tight. All right, boom. All right, so now my first puff is done and if I want to, sometimes I'll take some of that got to be glued and I'll really just like kind of just lay the edges down yeah so i'm about to do the exact same thing to the other side and i'm gonna do a little swoop on this side as well i try not to do super dramatic edges because I'm a 4 girl, so my edges do not always come out as, um, they don't always look the same. Don't always look like some of the girls that I see, which I'm totally fine with. I don't need super dramatic edges. So the last thing that I'm about to do is I'm actually going to wrap my hair um, just so it stays laid down. Alright guys, so now that my hair is laid down, um, I am about to go do my makeup and then I'll come back with my outro. Um, I am not going to film my makeup in this video, this is just a hair video, so if you guys want to see how I do my makeup, make your way over to that video. guys so this is the finished look as you can see I look super cute I feel like this is the perfect hairstyle for kids this is the perfect hairstyle for adults it's the perfect back-to-school hairstyle so if you're sending your child back to school in this coronavirus times you might as well send them back looking cute okay and adults, don't be scared to embrace your childishness and rock a cute little style like this. Like, I love it. I think it's super cute. So, if you guys want to see more hair videos, let me know. Because you know I'm going to come with the smoke. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications. And give this video a big thumbs up. Okay? One more thing I wanted to add is when you have 4C hair, do not, I mean, do not get mad if your hair frizzes up a little bit. Because as you can see, my hair in the back frizzes up a lot. 
but I don't freak out about it because I feel like this is my hair texture and I need to embrace my beauty, okay? I really thought it'd be cute to add a little headband, so I thought it'd be cute to show you guys another little way you can wear this hairstyle. This headband is super furry and it's super cute, so I'm definitely gonna be wearing this headband with this look. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.